Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you how we can take a daytime image and turn it to an approximation of nighttime using a few cool filters inside of GIMP. So, this is our starting image, and our end result is going to be roughly akin to this. You can also do a little bit further adjusting if you want to get it a little bit more perfect or a little bit more realistic, but that's roughly what we're shooting for here. So in order to make sure we can go back steps in a new image document with the photo already added in as the first layer, I'm going to right click on the layer for the image and I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to do that every time I apply a new step here. So the first effect I added on was brightness, decreasing the brightness in the layer. So in this layer now, renamed to brightness, I'm going to go to colors, brightness and contrast. And we want to lower this down a lot because obviously nighttime is darker than day. Um, so about negative 79 seems okay as a starting place for this image. We can always adjust this as things go on. But for right now, I'll hit OK. And now I'm going to right click that layer and duplicate it again. So the next effect is hue. So we're going to be basically changing the colors inside of the photo. So the next effect we'll apply here is color balance, and here we'll be able to control the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. The midtones are basically going to be what you see in the center of the image. The shadows are going to be the dark areas in the background, and the highlights are the most visible areas of our image. So the first thing we're going to want to adjust is the highlights, which in this case are actually going to target the background areas, the sky essentially. And we want to remove a lot of the red there. So I'm going to take the red cyan and move that way over to the left to make it more a cyan color. And in magenta green, I'm also going to move that more towards a purple. Yellow to blue, we can adjust a little bit over towards blue as well. So our overall color falls somewhere in the blue-purple range. With shadows, we can adjust this a little bit as well. So I'll move it just a tad over towards cyan, a bit towards green, and a bit towards blue. But we do want to be careful not to go too overboard with that. We'll leave the midtones alone, since if you do change that, it would give you a very ridiculous look. And we do want to preserve some of the natural color there. So for now, we'll hit OK and duplicate the layer one more time. So I'm going to go up to Colors, Hue Saturation. And with Master Color, which is selected by default, I'm going to lower the saturation of color in this image. And we might also want to lower down the lightness. As far as hue goes, you might be able to get a slightly better result if you adjust this bit, so play around with it a little bit. For the hue, I think I'm going to change that a little bit over here to the right. Not too much, though. That looks pretty good at about 10. It'll vary depending on your exact image, how you want to change the color. But generally, the color you're going to be going for is desaturated, a lot more of a natural dark tone as well. Nothing too flash. So I'll go ahead and hit OK there. And I will duplicate the layer one more time. And next we'll do curves, which is going to allow us to control some of this darkness here. So by raising and lowering the curve, we can get some pretty interesting results. Obviously, we want the curves to be kind of targeted towards the bottom right-hand corner. But we want to focus on making the sky darker much more so than making the trees darker. So in order to achieve that, the sky colors lay somewhere over here on the right. So I'm going to take this center point and kind of lower it down. Then we can drop the middle as well to make it a little bit darker. Overall, that's not too bad. I do want this guy to be a bit darker, though. So let me see if I can get a slightly better result. I'm also going to drag this other point a bit further to the right to make sure that the sky doesn't have too much color there. And honestly, that's looking pretty good now. So I think that's about what we want. Actually, if you compare it to the original I had, this one is considerably better, so we're going to go with that. So the four filters we applied in the end, brightness, color balance, saturation, and curves. So I hope you guys were able to follow along. Obviously, with your exact image, the different values are going to vary a little bit to get it right. Um, but hopefully you guys are able to get a good result. And I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.